Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see what is SPF record. An SPF record is a central policy framework record and is used to indicate mail exchanges which hosts are authorized to send emails for a domain. So this record has been created to protect from spoof messages by looking at sender's SPF record. Because the recipient email system refer to the SPF TXT record to determine whether a message from your custom domain comes from an authorized messaging server. Now we will see how SPF prevents spoofing and phishing. Each SPF record contains three parts. The declaration part that is SPF record. Here we can see V equal to SPF1. This indicates this is an SPF record. Then the IP addresses that are allowed to send email on behalf of your domain. So after declaring the SPF record, we will define the sending SMTP server's IP addresses of our domain. Then the last is enforcement rule. The use of enforcement rule is like this SPF rule tells the receiving email server that if message come from my domain but not from the IP addresses that I have defined in the SPF record, then the receiving server should apply the enforcement rule to the message. The enforcement rule is usually have three options. The first is hard fail. The minus all indicate the SPF failure and should be considered as hard fail. Whether or not the hard fail should be result in the message being rejected depend on how it is configured in the anti-spam solution. The tilde all indicate SPF failure and should be treated as soft fail. Yet the message should be accepted. Question mark all indicate neutral which indicate do nothing. The message should be accepted. Now we will see some example how SPF work. So this example is for authenticated email. Here we can see the sending domain is abc.com and the recipient domain is pqr.com. So after, so after sending email from abc.com, the recipient domain pqr.com will query to public DNS and checks if the message coming from valid IP addresses or not. If email admin of abc.com have published their SMTP sending server's IP addresses in the SPF record, then it will work or then it will mark as authenticated email. Next, we will check spoof email example. Here the IP address hash1 is not in abc.com's SPF record, then the message fails the SPF check and the receiver may choose to mark it as a spam. This is a simple pictorial view how SPF work. As we have saw when email sends from sender, the recipient inbound mail server first check if message coming from valid IP addresses for specified domain by querying to public DNS. And if it is authenticated, it will deliver to the recipient or if it is failed, then it will deliver to recipient junk email folder or it will apply the spam policy that have been created at the recipient end. So thank you for watching.